Hello and welcome to Update Novi. My name is Cheryl Walsh Malloy and I have the honor and privilege of hosting this amazing City of Novi production with the Honorable Mayor Bob Gatman. This is an amazing production. It is an amazing. We oh. don't we don't do this often enough. Are you blaming me? No, I'm just I'm Maybe just, I took that offensively. No, you did. Are you okay today? <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Okay. But you know what? We don't do it often enough. No, we don't. And The it's... people miss us. I get thousands of phone calls every week saying, where is Update Novi? Okay. Well, we can fix that. Okay. I've got a list of places we can go. Okay. Let's get back to today's show, okay. though. We only have a few minutes. And... Okay. Okay. We are here for an awesome occasion. Um, earlier this month, because it is still February, we had the honor and privilege of hosting with the Novi Chamber of Commerce, the annual Toast of the Town Gala. Yes, we did. And uh, handing out some amazing, I keep saying amazing, awesome, awards for some local Novi businesses. Yes, right? yes. So we do this annually. And the categories are, it was a roaring good time because we're already 20s. It I saw some wonderful. photos. And I it kind of was wonderful. It was a roaring good time. I sat with you, so I was going to say. So you didn't talk to me much, but we did. You, we, you're right. I, you're right. See you, see, you are holding a chip or grudge something. We don't do the show. I didn't talk to you. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, so the Roaring Twenties was the theme of the event. And there was a ward category for community no, building. we're in the 20s again right now. We are. Well, you know, isn't that ironic? That's probably why we did it. Duh. Community builder, yeah. customer service excellence, best place to work, no by newcomer, and then there was a Chairman's Choice Award. Yes. So it's our honor to to host today okay. um, the award winners and let them, let them tell us a little bit about their business. That's fun. So sitting here so quietly watching you and I make yeah. fools of Probably ourselves. Probably wondering what the heck. Exactly. This is, this is all we get this for is, winning the award. This is us, okay? <laughs> this is what we get. Um, we have Jim Laverti with Carabas Italian Grill. He, you are the proprietor. And then we have Kaylee Connor, who is with the Novi Town Center. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. So, Jim, you won for Community Builder, mm -hmm. large business, I'm assuming. Yep. Tell us a little bit about uh, Carabas here in Novi mm -hmm. and um, the thought of why you won the award or what makes Carabas such a great community builder. Okay. Other than the awesome food. Okay. Aside from the awesome food, we, uh, you know, we love to contribute back to the community. That's one of our principles and beliefs in, in our business. And... Um, we work with a lot of different uh, community people and organizations like the Chamber of Commerce, of course, Boy Scouts, Novi High School, a lot of different sporting teams, youth groups, and, and things okay. of that nature. So we love to give back to the community. That's, that's what we do. So when you're giving back, it's you're sharing your, your eats? We're sharing our eats. Okay. And yes. Wine? And no wine. Can't, we can't share the wine. Yeah. <laughs> no vino. No vino. <laughs> but you could come in and have some wine. I we have. have. We have we, plenty we of wine. We have a time or two. Good. So um, so it's partnering with those organizations, mm -hmm. being able to prepare, whether it be a training table or meal for a sports team or right. donating to chamber auctions, etc. Yep. That's awesome. Absolutely. How long have you been in Novi? So I've been in Novi from, for four years. It was four years in November for me. I'm a transplant from Chicago. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of Novi? I love Novi. Good. Novi's great, yeah. Well, that you answered correctly. Good. <laughs> I'm glad I did. Jim, what, what's the biggest selling dish you have at the, at the restaurant? Um, the biggest selling dish we have is probably our um, chicken parmesan, our lasagna. You know, we're a made-from-scratch restaurant, so all of our food is excellent and delicious. We don't buy anything uh, prepared and heat it up and serve it. So we, we make everything from scratch, all of our soups, our sauces, our dressings. We don't buy dressings in gallon containers and serve them. We make everything from scratch. You deliver? We do deliver. Yeah, we deliver. We have catering. Just um, ask. Yeah. Yeah, we do okay. large parties. I mean, we could do 500 people we could cater for. Can you do so one? We could do one, okay. 500, whatever, whatever you want. We could, we could do it for sure. All right. Yeah. Well, awesome. Kaylee, tell us a little bit about... Um, Yourself, the Novi Town Center, and what makes the Novi Town Center such a, a an awesome community builder in uh, for the small business category? Absolutely. So we are um, located at Novi and Grand River. We have over forty tenants uh, at Novi Town Center, anchored by Sierra Trading Post, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, Alta, 
lots of great restaurants to dine at at Novi Town Center as well. And throughout the year, we host a lot of community events. So our Town Center trick-or-treating is our largest event over the year, throughout the year. We have about um, 1,000 families come out and join us for trick-or-treating around the Town Center. And also throughout the year, we love to partner with the Chamber, with the City, um, for other local events, because we love just getting in touch with the customers. Our customer base really comes from a tight five mile radius. We're the neighborhood shopping center. You come multiple times a week for to get your hair done, to get your nails done, to go shopping, to go out to lunch, all of those fun things. So we just love to partner with the community and connect with um, our customers and really get out and, and talk to everybody. And this past summer, you started Jeep Night. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> we did. Um, two Jeep nights in the summer, partnering with um, some local groups uh, coming to the town center, getting some discounts at some of our fabulous restaurants, coming to eat, checking out the cars, just having a fun night on a Tuesday or Monday night, um, getting together. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, she mentioned fabulous restaurants twice. Can you tell us the name of a couple yes. of Yes, yes. We have Permonte Brothers, Diamond Jim Brady's, Bonefish Grill, um, Pot Bellies, Payway, Masala Indian Kitchen just opened this past year. So lots Chipotle. of good ones. Chipotle, Tony Chipotle. Sacco's. One more question. You mentioned places to go to get your hair done. What would you recommend for me? Is there... Um, Salon Agape is great. Okay, Salon yeah. Agape. Mm -hmm. I'll remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anything either of you would like to add and share with the, the viewing audience before we go on to uh, one of our next categories? Anything you want to let the millions, excuse me, that watch us know? Yes. Um, no, not really. Just, you know, come on by if, if you need anything um, for the community or to help us build the community. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Be careful, Jim. You're it's You're going to okay. have 100 people knocking it's on your okay. door tomorrow saying, you said come by. <laughs> come by. Come on by. <laughs> Kaylee, anything? Yes, just follow us on our social media accounts. That's where you can stay the most updated um, for all of our events and ongoing deals throughout the center. Uh, well, thank you both very much. Thank you. Not thank only you. for being here, but for all that you do for the community. And um, congratulations on a, a much-deserved award. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned because when Mayor Gatton and I come back, we'll have our next large and small business winners in the best place to work category. Don't go away. In March of 2020, the U.S. Census Bureau will send every household an invitation to complete a simple questionnaire about who lives at your address on April 1st. This is important because when we know how many people live in our community, organizations and businesses are better equipped to evaluate the services and programs needed, such as clinics, schools, public transit, and roads. It also determines how many seats in Congress are distributed among the 50 states. Let's take a look at a short clip about how to take the census how do I take the 2020 census? In March 2020, you'll receive an invite to a simple questionnaire. You can complete it online, call by phone, or send it by mail. If you don't respond, a census taker will follow up and assist you. Shape your future. Start here. Visit 2020census.gov. Remember, when it comes to residency, Novi is a person's usual residence if this is where they live and sleep most of the time throughout the year. This is especially important for people who travel. You may have a summer home, a winter home, travel overseas, or some other situation where you're not here all the time. If Nova is where a person lives and sleeps most of the time, then Nova is their usual residence for the purpose of the 2020 census. For more information about the census, you can go to 2020census.gov. Welcome back to Update Novi. Again, I'm Cheryl Walsh Malloy, and with me here is the Honorable Mayor Bob Gatt. We have two new guests that have filled the, the hot seats, we'll say. And I'm going to get this off uh, out first because I said I've told them I'll forget. But we have the president of Prey, Nick Lancharich. Rich. Nick Lancharich. Perfect. Lunchar Rich. Perfect. Um, and with Prey in that you are all the best place to work for large business. Yes. And then we have Chris Barbas, who is the owner agent? A agency owner. Agency yep. owner, I hit it backwards. Yeah. Um, and you are the best place to work small business. Yes. So um, let's start with Nick. 
tell me a little bit about Pray, what you all do, and then what makes you a most amazing place to work. Okay. Uh, we are a automotive supplier. We develop, manufacture uh, controls for the interior in the car. Everything that you turn, you touch in the interior of the car for the major OEMs. Okay. And uh, we develop uh, all in-house uh, software, hardware, all the mechanical developments, and uh, we, uh, we provide premium uh, quality to our customers. Uh, we are a technology-driven company, so we always look out for new technologies. Uh, this is what the car OEMs want to see, and also the buyers uh, for new cars. And this is our playground. Okay. Where are you headquartered out of? Where are you based? Headquarter for our division for electronics is in Germany, okay. and the ultimate owner is in China. They okay. own, we are about uh, 8 billion uh, US dollar company worldwide, wow. and uh, the big headquarter is in China. In China, okay. So what, I don't know if you were the one to submit, or if it was some staff members of yours, colleagues, what makes Prey stand out? What, what would make you, or what do you believe makes you all a great company to work for? The submission was done uh, by staff members. Uh, they, they represent the company, they, they are the voice for the company, and uh, what makes us uh, successful in retaining and hiring new people is uh, the benefits uh, that we offer. We offer free healthcare for everybody. Uh, we offer uh, things like uh, free coffee. We have every Monday, we have a Healthy Monday uh, where we offer free uh, uh, fruits for everybody. Then we have social events. Uh, we help, uh, for example, Shelter Week where employees go and they give uh, to the community. Uh, we have, uh, for example, last Valentine's Day, um, everybody got a little bag uh, with candies and we had exchange of candies. Little things like this makes it dif uh, different, right? In the office when we deal with uh, uh, very tough customers, we have to say. It's a tough environment, the automotive uh, industry. But that makes uh, life different. And uh, we have also great benefits as far as holidays, uh, trainings, uh, uh, vacation, we have three year anniversary uh, and five year uh, bonuses, uh, things like this. So it's, it's the overall how we treat employees, good products we have as well. So it's, it's nice to have a product that's visually and uh, you can tell your neighbor or your friends, oh, this is a product I've worked on, right? So this is, this is also makes it, it's a round, uh, it, it rounds everything, and it's it's so nice that uh, even even our management in Germany or China. So we are a humble company, and uh, people like to work for us. Uh, it's not just recognized uh, by like you. It's very them nice. Right now, as a matter of fact, you, you had <laughs> any time, Bob. Any you had time. me at three dinners on Monday. <laughs> ah, so, well, yeah. amazing. That that's yeah. very nice. And obviously, your employees think a lot of you and the organization to submit. And, um, and want to be a part of what you do and the culture that you have. And, you know, that, that doesn't just happen, obviously. It starts with you. So very nice, and I applaud you for that. That's Thank you. Great. Thank you. Chris, what about you? Can, can you beat Healthy Mondays? <laughs> I, um, I, I mean, that was an impressive list of uh, things. I don't, I don't know how I can compete with that, but we, we still have a lot of different reasons why um, we're a great place to work. Uh, first, I'll start off with... Um, Land everybody know where the agency's at and whatnot. Chris Barbers Insurance Agency, Farm Bureau Insurance, home office is in Lansing, Michigan. My office is here in Novi on uh, Novi Road, just south of 10 Mile. Um, been there since August of this year. Came from Northville. Um, and we provide auto, home, lake estate, country estate, life insurance, health insurance, so pretty much everything, business insurance as well. And the reason my employees voted for us as the best place to work is um, for a few reasons. Uh, benefits for one, we give 18% discount off auto insurance and we know that's expensive in Michigan, so any little that's bit nice. there helps. Uh, free life insurance up to $500,000. 
um, as well as uh, paid vacations for full-timers. And then the big thing that separates me is I don't micromanage my employees. So, you know, they know their role, they know what to do, so they come in, they do it, I don't have to micromanage or any of, the, any of those things. And then very family oriented. So, you know, always asking how the family is, if they have family things they need to do, I excuse them from work, they're allowed to go and do those things, um, which is a big thing. And that kind of resembles how Farm Bureau Insurance as a company is. So I try to hold that same model t towards, you know, my own business, because we're a very family oriented company, so. You know, um, that for a small, a small business is amazing too in and of itself. And you say, you know, you can't come here. One of the things that I notice in both of you is that you, what I'm gathering is you both care about mm -hmm. your employees. Absolutely. And you are letting them kind of drive, the, yeah. for lack of better terms, the culture mm -hmm. and help determine what that is. You're not dictating it or you're not dictating it. And I think in, in this day and age, it's so important to let employees, obviously your employees nominated, your employees mm -hmm. nominated, which says a lot uh, about a place to work. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, you hit the nail on the head. You both, your, your, your empathy for your employees just shines through. Mm -hmm. It's very Amazing. important, thank you. Thank Amazing, you. anything else either of you would like to share? We are very happy to be here in Nova. It's uh, one of the best places uh, to live in the United States, right? In Michigan, for Maybe sure, number one, world. but uh, number 20 in in, yeah. in US. Yeah. Uh, our employees, they take advantage of this. Uh, it's like, it's very easy commuting here in Novi. We have uh, great hotels, uh, restaurants. Uh, uh, our people, we, we hire people from outside the States and uh, they come here and they just uh, love it to live here in the oh, city. It's great. It's good to hear. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And you and went to Novi High School? I, no, I, I did. Went, where did you go to? High I went to Livonia Churchill. Oh, oh, Livonia. Okay, yep. that would have been okay. That would have made sense. Okay. Uh, yep. When when she was out there, and Livonia Churchill is where I went. However, I just wanted I wanted to move my agency and Novi because of such growth and all the businesses around and mm -hmm. things like that. The culture mm -hmm. um, of the city, because I had different cities that I had the opportunity to go on that there wasn't a Farm Bureau Insurance at, like mm -hmm. Farmington, Livonia which is my hometown, but I chose Novi because of how great the city is. So that's, oh, that's why I did it. You chose well, my friend. Uh, they, chose they, well. Oh, good. Thank you both, and uh, keep you. up the great work. You know, uh, happy employees make a, for a very productive work, Absolutely. right? A workplace, right? Absolutely. So thank you both. Thank you for your contributions to the Novi, and uh, we, I'm sure we'll see you both uh, again. That's so, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And when we come back, we have one more category, which is the customer service excellence. So don't go away. right in the center and, uh, and it's very accessible to everyone. So, so that is positive. It gives us the ability to tap all this talent pool around us. Man, within a mile of us, almost any direction, that, you know, there's, there's, there's tons of stuff to do and it's, it's compelling and uh, it, it, it helps support the excitement. The city of Novi, from our inception of our office, we've gone through multiple levels of renovation of our facility, and we've even added in extremely advanced and complex research and development laboratories. The city of Novi has been there every step of the way to not only advise us, but to help us work through the implementation process. So for us, it's pretty easy.
are back with the Customer Service Excellent Awards. And with Mayor Gat and I um, on set, happened, this is kind of awkward, but for law, not, you're not kind of I appreciate awkward. that I'm introduction. Just, I'm just <laughs> saying. Just <laughs> but um, uh, for a large business, Customer Service Excellence Award went to the city of Novi, and with us is city manager Pete Auger. And for small business, it went to Ronaldo Candido, and with us is Ronaldo Candido. That's nice to um, And you said that is a Brazilian? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. Why don't you tell us first, All right, let me explain. Um, a little bit about um, your business. Yes. Um, I believe it's located in northern Novi. Am yes, I right down the road, two blocks down the road, Novi oh, Road. Novi Road. Okay, yeah. where is it located? It's uh, between eight mile and nine mile. Eight and nine, okay. It's close off the bowling, right there after the bowling. Oh, okay, you're near Novi Bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know exactly where you are. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your business? And I will tell you, this was unprecedented. We probably had 20 customers right in about your customer service. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that is definitely something to really be proud of and smile yeah. about because 20 families took the time to write about how awesome the customer service is at your organization. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, let me explain a little bit what is jiu-jitsu. It's, uh, it's a ground sport, start from stand. It's a little, a little bit like a judo and uh, there's no punch, there's no kicking, you know. It's like about body locks. It's the only sport where the small guy can control a big guy, where a girl can control a man. <laughs> and uh, I'm talking a real fight. If it, in, in a real fight, if it's a girl, uh, knows uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, she can really protect herself against against a guy. Most of the time, like uh, uh, some guys abuse out there, and we have like uh, stories of girls uh, who uh, does Jiu-Jitsu and uh, protect themselves. You know, and basically like this, uh, what do we really do? Um, I teach uh, uh, kids from uh, three years old and all ages, you know, and uh, I teach them um, life lesson, you know. Uh, uh, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu helped them uh, through life and uh, I really uh, build the self confidence, not the part of the self defense as well, you know what I mean? But uh, I was, it's always a tough for everybody. Um, out there, it's going to be a fight, right? Not a, like, not a real fight, but when you go to the college and you're going to apply for something or a job, you're going to compete against people. And it's like it's going to have a fight, uh, you against that person, right? Who's going to do the best in the interview? And uh, this is what uh, I use this sport to build the self-confidence for things like that. Uh, but the most important thing for the kids is the bowling, you know. It's a big, big issue right now. Mm -hmm. And I have been saving kids' life there through, like, through jiu-jitsu. And this makes me very happy about That's it. That's amazing. So you're not only teaching them a self-defense sport, it's really building self-confidence. Yeah, that's the main goal, you know. Besides, like, they can take serious, they can do tournaments, and they can become our champions. And uh, as a coach already, I have been here in the city of Novaya two years. I made a three world champions right from Michigan. Amazing. And I'm very happy about it. So, so these 20, and I, I don't have the exact number in my head, these 20 families that wrote in about customer service, what is it that you feel Ronaldo Candido does differently that deserved at customer service excellence? What, what are these families feeling or experiencing? Yeah, uh, the difference I tell for everybody, uh, I started in this sport when I was 11 years old, helped me so much through the life. Uh, I came from a very poor family. My father's an alcoholic guy. And uh, once, one time when I was uh, 13 years old, he was very aggressive, he tried to attack my mom. I already was training for two years. And uh, I was able to defend her against him. And I got in love with the sport. Uh, the difference between my academy and every old academy, it's uh, this is not my business and this is my passion. It's what I love to do. And, you know, and uh, I really love to uh, change kids' life through the sport. And this well, is what I do. It's amazing. And it obviously, your passion in just the short time we've talked um, definitely shows. It really does. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It just shines through. How many students do you have? Yeah, we're about, uh, right now, about like almost 200 students. Amazing. And I'm very happy. And do you teach it. them all or do you have a staff? I have some people that uh, help me out, like uh, students that uh, help me to watch the class. But I'm the main coach. I teach all them all the technique and the life lessons as well. Mm, we should go check it out. Uh, we should check it out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the difference, like, just to, com to complain, it's not just about my passion. Um, we are family there, and that's the difference about my yeah. business. I spend more time 
uh, and the gym that I spend time with my wife. And well, <laughs> this is the gym. Everybody, right there. everybody and knows. This is now. <laughs> you just told all of the, the viewing audience. And, uh, that, so. This is I show like uh, how much I'm there, and they, they are my family. You know, That's I spend right. so time with them. They share me with everything, problems uh, and happiness, and uh, I really. Uh-huh. Uh, happy to share life with them. That's me. Sure, we should do a show there while the classes are going on, and maybe he can show a couple takedown moves on yeah. you or something. I was thinking on you, but okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. So, uh, so we challenged Chris to tap that. So now we're moving to you, Mr. Auger. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about the city because um, I think people might not really see municipal government in the customer service industry. Um, as a retail or store or an automotive supplier, when really, for a city really to excel, you and I both know we have customer to have the great, service and, is and the we number have one thing in our toolbox. Great employees with some of that same passion mm-hmm. for what they do. We have so many different disciplines that work in the city, whether it be the DPW, the police department, the fire department, mm-hmm. parks and rec, or mm-hmm. coming in for community development, or just to pay your tax bill. What we try to do, and obviously it's paying off is make everybody's experience different than they expected. Mm-hmm. Is when they come and they deal with us at the city, we hope that it's a memorable, different experience in a good way. And we try to get each employee in the right place to show that passion we were just talking about in their discipline, in what they do every day. Yeah, and, and you know, and it does show. We've been doing um, National Citizen Survey for 15 years, 16, maybe? 16, 15, yeah. 16 years now. And um, the results, it, I think you and I always sit down every, every other year when we're getting ready, and I'm like, how are we going to top la- the last one, every, you know, the two years ago? And, and the numbers still, they hold steady. You know, we're at the 92% customer satisfaction rate, which I think there's a big misconception about government. And um, we could possibly use passports as an example, right? How many people have had... An, the not most pleasant experience to go get a passport, right? They go, they wait in line at the post office, et cetera. They come here, they're greeted by a, a friendly face, they in and out in a matter of minutes, no line. It's just changing that perception. Well, and even just in the clerk's department, as you yep. spoke about passports, is they explain the process right up front so everyone knows what to expect. Correct. And if you call, they'll tell you exactly what documents to bring. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's quite amazing how many passports we do process here in the city of Novi. But that hopefully you find in every department we have here is somebody that cares about what they're doing and they care about you as the customer, you as the citizen, mm-hmm. you who are coming to look, invest in Novi, that we actually care about you and we care about the long-term result, not just what you need right now, let's get you moving through the line. Yeah, I know you've seen tons of them and I've seen several that, I mean, what better compliment is there than you get an email from a resident that was pulled over for a traffic violation and they say, it was the best experience of my life. The, he or she was pleasant, they were professional, and, and then you look and you're like, they still got a ticket. How, how was that a pleasant experience, right? Right. But it, it's the customer service. Well, you, you, you mentioned the tickets. One of our highest ticket writers is one of our most complimented officers exactly. in the department. Uh-huh. It's just how he handles himself right? and how he treats people. And we hope we treat everybody like we'd like to be treated. It's not rocket science, mm-hmm. but sometimes we lose it, especially when you run an organization with over 270 employees mm-hmm. um, and doing so many different things. I like the examples where the employee is not working in their field. Uh, Several examples come off the top of my head, like a fire department personnel moving a turtle off the road. Mm -hmm. I know on social media we shared that and that got a lot of shares and Mm -hmm. likes, but that's just somebody who cares about what they're doing, caring about the community. It's not just about what they're being paid to do. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and and I, I hope everyone that has in contact, comes in contact with anyone at the city or anyone at your organization feels the passion and you never want to miss, you, you, but it happens, right? You, you never want that to happen, or you never want someone to go away with a, uh, a bad taste in their mouth, but it's how you recover and, and bring that all back. So thank you both um, for all the great work that you're doing and you're doing in the community. Your passion definitely shines through. And anything, Mr. Mayor, you'd like to add? Or? Well, only that I'm uh, proud to be part of this Novi organization and 
customer service is now, was then, and always will be a primary goal of, of everybody who works here. Oh, thank you both so very much. I, I said the last time we had one final category, but I was talking about the three nominated. We now have Novi Newcomer, and there was a tie. So we have a, two seats to fill. We've got two amazing Novi Newcomers, up and coming, big community builders, customer service winners, and best place to work. But they're the Novi Newcomers, so stay tuned. Don't go away. At the Novi Fire Department, we want to ensure that everybody has a working smoke detector in their house. To test your detector, press and hold the button for two seconds and the alarm will sound. It's simple. If you have any questions, call us at the fire station and set up an appointment. In fact, we're working on our testing techniques right now. Welcome back. With me now are two uh, amazing gentlemen. I, I think amazing has been my, my word That's today. your word tonight. Amazing. It is. Amazing. Um, and, and we have Miss Amazing, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But right now, it's all about J.D. and Scott. J.D. is one of the owners with Sedona Tap House, and Scott Smith is with Scott Smith Financial Services? Uh, Just yeah. Scott Smith yes. Financial. That's fine. And both of these gentlemen and their businesses are being recognized as uh, Novi newcomers. And, and I like to think of that as someone, or you all, who have been in the community for just a short time, but yet have already made such an impact. So, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about Scott Smith, the business. The business. Unless you want to share about yourself. <laughs> we could do that, too. Um, where you're located and um, your thoughts about the move to Novi and how you've already gotten involved. Sure. So, uh, although we are relatively new to Novi, mm -hmm. we moved in last year. Uh, my wife and I have been residents for over 30 years uh, uh, in Novi. In fact, we raised uh, five, four children and uh, okay. a lot of people in our house sometimes. I'm okay. Gotcha. Hard to figure out how many I there understand. are. I uh, understand. Who we've raised uh, four children and they all ended up uh, going to uh, uh, to Novi schools and, and spent a lot of time there. So Scott Smith Financial, we're in the atrium building, just uh, on the south side, if you know where uh, BD's mind going, yeah. Yeah, Main sure. Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're a financial services, we're, a, we're a, a, an investment advisory firm, and we spend our time working with uh, Novi residents, uh, all kinds of uh, people in the, uh, in the community and, and about uh, doing things like financial planning. Uh, as a certified financial planners, we work with our clients to invest their money um, and probably most importantly for our clients, uh, because of the age they tend to be, we spend a lot of time with them working through their retirement scenarios. Uh, Social Security, do they have enough money in their 401ks? What's the best process for, uh, you know, really kind of getting into a retirement groove, if you will, that uh, sure. is good for them? Sure. So you've been here a short time. You've lived here. We have. A long time. And why Novi Newcomer then for you? What what have you? What do you feel you've already done? Because I know what it is. I just want you ah. to say. <laughs> well, uh, in 2019, we were uh, chosen by Entrepreneurial Magazine as uh, one of the top 360 entrepreneurial uh, companies in the United States. So, uh, you know, we've made a big impact uh, on the entrepreneurial community, and I think uh, you know we're bringing that to Novi uh, with our experiences and all the things that that we want to do uh, uh, in Novi. And you've gotten, you've jumped in both feet and uh, become members of the chamber. Yes. Your mm -hmm. son, who I don't, I, he works with you. He does, yep. Is mm -hmm. um, extremely active um, in the chamber as well. So um, y you already want to get involved, which is, I think, a, yeah. great, a great thing. We spend a lot of time, I know Brian, uh, who's also one of our advisors, spends a lot of time uh, working with the, uh, with the chamber, working with, uh, uh, you know, people in Novi, and it's a, it's a good experience, especially since he went to school here. Amazing, right? Yeah. Amazing. 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 Yeah, I, yes. I, I, <laughs> Lynn, I think Lynn Dooley right now is, like, channeling me, uh -huh. and, like, that's why I, I keep, because okay. I don't know, I keep saying that. I don't know. Well, you're, you're an amazing woman. Thank you. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so with that, we'll, we'll go to J.D., who is one of the owners at Sedona Tap House. Have you been to Sedona? I have. 
Yeah, I have been there. Have you been there? Yeah, I, we've been there. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah we've <laughs> Maybe there. a couple of times. A couple yeah. of times. Tell us, J.D., a little bit about Sedona, the the opening. I was going to say the move to Novi, but it really is the second location, third, second? Right, yeah. So we have the one in Troy, and it's been open for three years. And so, yeah, so we just opened up next to the, <laughs> the, open, uh, next to the 12 Oaks Mall, or uh -huh. actually we're attached to the 12 Oaks Mall. Um, and so we opened uh, last year. We specialize in craft beer. That's kind uh -huh. of our specialty. Uh, we have, I think, about 350 craft beers at this location. Um, but we, we take our food very serious as well. We use Braveheart beef. We cut our steaks in the restaurant. Um, all of our fish, chicken, all that stuff, no hormones, no antibiotics. So uh, we, we definitely specialize in craft beer, but we take our service and, and, our, and our food very serious as well. So Novi Newcomer, you guys have been open a year? Yeah, April 29th. So almost, almost a year. Almost a year, yep. And so to be Novi Newcomer, I, I know your involvement with the Chamber, young professionals as well as, as um, Scott's son, Brian. Um, but you also do, you pick a charity every month, which I think is pretty interesting. Can you talk a little bit about sure, that? Sure, yeah. So it's called uh, Dine Out for Charity. Um, it used to be called Steak Out for Charity. Okay. Uh, we, we had some feedback from our guests that they'd like a seafood options option, so we added salmon to the mix. See, I thought it was a police thing. See, yeah. I, I, was, I was thinking police, steak yeah, out, so but I got actually, it. So yeah. it's dine out. Dine I got out it. Dine out for charity now. Okay. And so you can get our flat iron or our salmon um, that's usually you know up around 18 or $20 for 7 and 10 and then, so whatever local charity, we, and we pick local charities, you know, that are here in the community, and whatever charity is selected for that month, um, all the flat irons and salmons that are sold every Monday for that month, a dollar for each one goes to that local charity. So very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And I know, like, the Novi Educational Foundation, and there's been some others that you have um, given back to already in just the short, less than a year that you've been here. Yeah, so, so it's been awesome, and um, we have a good outreach, and... My wife, Erica, handles all that, and she pretty much has the next year almost set up already. So. That's great. Very good. Any thoughts there, Mr. Mayor, on uh, these two Only that it's uh, a, a wonderful place. It's, it's a nice place. It's a nice atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And um, keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah, both of you. Thank you Thank both you. for your investment in Novi, and congratulations on being Novi newcomers. Thank you. I, I Thank see you. many more great things to come from both Absolutely. of you. Absolutely. Great. Thank you. Um, we should wrap up. It's been a long show. It has been. And uh, we've got a... But a people meeting. love watching us talk. Well, I don't know about today. I wasn't that amazing. It's amazing. But, but I, I think, and I alluded to, and you and I can talk about this further because it's not quite May yet. We're only in, in February. But everyone should have gotten their Engage magazine at their homes. And um, City Council unanimously approved... Um, in late January, something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is the Miss Michigan Amazing Pageant is coming to Novi. And what a great uh, pageant. I, I'm not going to say pageant. I'll say showcase because that's a, a year. But where young women from ages 6 to 35 or so showcase their talents, um, those with disabilities, on, on right. from autism all the way, you know, down, whatever their disability is, it's an opportunity and a day for them to showcase those talents. And I think we in Novi tout um, our diversity and celebrate how different we all are each and every day. And this is just another testament. It's just to another testament. We, we, we embrace our diversity. It's mm -hmm. one of our biggest strengths, actually, mm -hmm. in the city. And this, uh, what, this event coming up, is one of the highlights of that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank so, you. So that is going to be um, an amazing afternoon, day, evening, and I uh, look forward to having that here. When That's is May that? 2nd. In May? It's May 2nd. May and 2nd. Um, it's Miss Michigan Amazing or Miss Amazing Michigan. Um, I apologize for not knowing, but the, our handy, wonderful crew will make sure that's up, and I am correct that people can log on. There's great ways to volunteer, uh, get involved, and um, participate on all levels. So it's going to be a great Looking evening. Looking forward. Yep. Yeah. So with that, um, Mayor and I vow to not stay strangers. It's one of our goals this year to get out and about. Um, I mentioned the Engage magazine. We have some um, some amazing. We have some incredible uh, partners uh, that advertise in the Engage magazine, and I think Mayor and I are just going to have to hit up some of those businesses and thank them for their participation. And, Let's do uh, it. A and road get trip. out in the community and do a few road trips yeah. uh, every every month. So, with that, um, our thanks to the Novi Chamber for um, partnering and hosting the Business Awards Gala. Um, if you missed it, it, I'm sorry. It was an absolutely wonderful evening. 
Um, the 20s theme was uh, hit it out of the park. It was a great time. And obviously today you've uh, heard from uh, some wonderful, outstanding Novi business leaders and their accomplishments and their awards. So. Yeah. It's a great place. It's a great city, isn't it? It is a great city. And it's city. people like this and our guests before that just yep. contribute to that. Correct. Yeah. So with that, um, we ask you to uh, continue to follow your Novi on um, all aspects of social media from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, our website, and uh, keep uh, being engaged and involved because it's you who you and businesses like we interviewed today that keep Novi the uh, absolutely incredible city it is. So with that, Mayor, close us out. Until next time. Until next time. Keep watching. Keep watching. Right here, channel 213. I don't know if it's 213. Don't listen to him. <laughs> He's thinking of our area code. We're 248. We're not channel 213. But I think until are. next time, take care.